In the last video, we covered the creation of bank accounts. Today, we will focus on the read operation in CRUD, meaning we will create Next.js API route to retrieve the data from the backend, and we will also use React query use query hook to retrieve that data and cache it on the front-end side. First of all, we need a method to return those bank accounts from the database. So let's open our server, repositories, bank account repository. And in here, we can export a new method called get all, which will be an async function. It will accept the user ID as a parameter. And in the method itself, we can say const bank accounts equals await prisma dot bank account dot find many. Then we say where the user ID is our user ID. And additionally, we can order by ID in descending order. So we fetch all the bank accounts for a particular user. And before returning it, we need to map those bank accounts because we want to transform with our previously defined transform bank account function, which basically divides the balance by 100. So let's say map bank account and return as transform bank account like this. Now we need to define the get API handler itself. So let's go to pages, API, bank accounts, and index.tx. In here, we can add additional switch statement for a get request. And let's say const bank accounts equals await get all and pass user ID. And this get all will be imported from our bank account repository. And then we can say response status, okay, which means 200. And let's assign the response as JSON with the bank accounts. And of course, the break. That's it. We have a REST API endpoint to retrieve all the bank accounts for a particular user. So we can try this out simply in the browser. If I would add the API in here, you can see that my user currently has two bank accounts and the response is array of objects. So now let's call this API endpoint from our front end. So let's update our service, bank account service. We'll have one additional method, export const get bank accounts. It will be again a sync function and it will return a promise of bank account array. Inside of it, we just say const data equals await api.get and provide the URL. Finally, just return the data. Now we can use this method in our component itself. So let's open our bank accounts index where we previously had to do. We can use use query hook. We need to import it from the React query itself. And here we need to provide few things. So the first one is query key. This basically is responsible for setting a specific key of your choice so that the React query could cache this data by this query key. And for example, if you will be using the same hook in some other component or just try to straight pull out the data of the query client itself, you will use this query key. For this case, we could say, let it be array, because usually uh, React query is operating query keys in array fashion, because you can have like a composite key. It could be like fetch bank accounts, then it could be some params, like a um, JavaScript object, then it could be some other stuff in it. But generally, I always like to use something called query key factory, which basically holds all the query keys used in your application. So let's go and quickly create this query key factory, which is a very simple JavaScript object. So let's, for example, create it under the services. And all this query factory will do is export a single object named query keys. 
and then we will list all the keys we want. So for example, fetch bank accounts, we will nest one more level, we will say all and fetch bank accounts as const. So this query key will be used for like fetching all the bank accounts and it needs to be an array of course. And now all we need to do is to replace this one with query keys dot fetch bank accounts dot all. And of course we import query keys from the query key factory. Next we need to provide the query fn, which basically is a function which will be used by React Query to actually get the data for this particular hook. So get bank accounts imported from the service. And the last thing I will do is to provide the initial data as an empty array. And from this, we will take data, which will contain our bank accounts, and one more boolean, which is, is fetching. With this one, we will be able to show the loader when the data is being loaded from the backend. Let's also rename the data to bank accounts. And now we can replace this to do with the, if it's fetching, then display loading. And if the data is loaded already, let's display it as a JSON just for a short demo. And now we can test if it's working. So as you probably saw, there was a loading text and now we have our bank accounts. Wonderful. So we have our data. Now it's time to create the table. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like this video. And if you are curious how to implement the React table to display those bank accounts, press here.